Hi everyone. Um, I was tagged. This is a tag. Sorry. This is the tag video, and it's called uh, "Favorite Winter Things." Sorry, I'm looking down. I've got a book down here with everything written in. Um, yeah, favorite winter things. And I was tagged by the lovely um, Teresa from Terry Marie. Thanks for tagging me because I quite like doing tags. Um, right, there are ten questions. Um, so, oh, sorry, nobody knows, <laughs> has to do with winter. Um, number, question number one, do I like winter? Um, yes and no. Uh, I don't like it when it's raining and it's slippery underfoot. I hate that. Um, I like the snow um, if... All I've got to do is look at it from 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 inside my house, and I don't have to go out. What I don't like is when the whole of this country in the UK it just comes to a grinding halt. If we get a little bit of snow, um, and everything just you know it's um, the whole country's a mess. Um, that's the only thing I hate about it. But yeah, I do like snow. Um, but yeah, if the country could keep going, it would be lovely. But um, so that's answered that question. A bit of a garbled answer there. Um, question number two: favourite winter accessories? Well, it's got to be my scarves and my hats. Those, those. Uh, question number three: um, What is your favourite winter um, activity? Um, I do like to have a little bit of a walk in the snow, if um, as long as it's not too slippery. Uh, other than that, I like to sit by my fire, and especially this time of year when it's got you know it's really Christmas and you've got um, your tree and your lights and everything else. So I like to get those on. I like to shut the doors, put the fire on, the heating on, and I like to I like to sit and crochet. I like to read, and if there's a good film on TV. I'll watch that. Sorry, I've got a dry mouth. So those are my favourite activities. And I've got to blow my nose. Sorry. Oh. I do apologise for this. Sorry about that. Very rude of me. Um, what is your favourite winter scent? And I wasn't sure if it was perfume or like candles and things, so I bought both. Um, I like my Paul Smith Extreme. Ooh, nearly dropped it. Landed on the chair that she was lucky, and that looks like that. The lid doesn't go on that one very well. I don't know what's wrong with that. Um, it's quite a heavy strong, musty, fruity smell, that one. Terrible at describing. Um, and then we have the Elizabeth Arden Sunflowers. Now this I can't describe uh, at all. It's quite a heavy... It is fruit, it is floral, um, but it's quite a heavy there's a heavy background, I think probably a little bit of musky scent to it. See, I like the musky ones. And then I have um, the Hugo Boss Red. Um, this one, again, is... Let me just remind myself of this one. This one is... I can't, I can't describe this, I'm sorry. It's a floral again. With a, a strong background um, scent there, but I can't, I, I'm just dreadful, I'm really, really sorry. Um, I mean, if you're interested in knowing what any of these perfumes actually are, um, you can actually look them up on the internet and it will actually tell you 
um, what the ingredients are in there, um, what the bass notes, what the top notes, what the middle notes are and all that. Um, but yeah, I really like that one. I haven't smelled that. I haven't worn that one for ages. Um, yeah, go and look it up because I, I have just killed these perfumes trying to explain them. Um, but yeah, go look up and you'll, you'll find out what they are. Um, Candle-wise, this one is a fireside treat. That's what it's called. And it's a Yankee candle. And it's, it's, it's a sweet... Um, like marshmallow smell, marshmallow, <laughs> marshmallow, marshmallow type smell, which is there is marshmallows on the front, and then I have a a book like thing, looks like a book with some um, candles in there. Um, these are little selection um, of candles um, there's one here called red velvet um, it's got a description but it doesn't really tell you what it is it says a most dedicant de de decadent acid <laughs> sorry I will speak a creation of creamy frost a top moist cake a touch of brown sugar so very sweet I don't know. Um, there's one here, chamomile tea. Um, it's just got the aroma of chamomile and honey steeped with tea leaves and a touch of citrus zest. Um, I like the vanilla cupcake. There's a kitchen spice. There's warm spice. There's cinnamon stick, orange spice, cranberry chutney. Um, I like the, cook the Christmas cookies. Um, those sort of scents, especially around this time of year. Um, I have a vanilla one um, burning at the moment, which isn't, which isn't, it's not a Yankee Candle one, it's um, one of those from Home Bargains, which is, wasn't such a great candle, I don't think. Um, what is my favourite drink? Well, it's same all year round, really. Um, I drink, um, I drink my um, fruit teas. This is a box of mixture of teas. There's strawberry and raspberry, cranberry, blackcurrant and vanilla, mango and strawberry, cranberry and raspberry in that one. Um, and this one is sweet rhubarb. That is my favourite at the moment. Um, at the moment I've got a cup here of tea, if you can see, there you go, and this one is raspberry, strawberry and loganberry, which is yummy, um, let me cross that out and see where I've got to now, um, favourite, oh this is question number six, favourite winter lip colour, now this is just a selection um, if I brought all the all of my favourites out, we'd be here for you know ever. Um, we have a Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in one oh seven, and that's that one there. It's the the really dark dark colour, like um, pinky berry, burgundy type colour. I think I think that must be everyone's favourite. I think um, we have a Mac Rihanna. Is it Rihanna? Um, sure, which one it is? Anybody? Anyway. Yeah, it is Rihanna. Bieber Glam. Bieber Glam Rihanna. That's what it's called. That one. Yeah. They're sort of all sort of, you know, I love the the berry colours, you know, ranging from um, the sort of uh, pinks through to the the burgundies, 
through to the like lilac-y colours, lilac-y berry colours. The one I have on the moment is, which is wearing off, is one from Urban Decay and it is called Buzzkill. This is quite an old one. Um, I've had it. There you go. I've had this one for quite a while. It's probably not on sale anymore, but you know, it's it's of the the pinky berry colour. You know, you can get them all over. And then I go for my reds. I think this one is called the red of the better. It's one of the um, Rimmel colour. Don't know. It's just I wish when they do these that they make sure that the, the stuff's not going to rub off. I mean, all it's been it's only been in my makeup bag in my drawer or in my bag, um, and it's not been you know shaken about or anything like that. Um, but it's just ridiculous. It's just gone. Um, so shades of red. I didn't give you a swatch of this um, Buzzkill one, did I, from Urban Decay? This one's quite a sheer, sheer one. It's not quite such a, you know, a, 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 you know, a heavy sort of colour. It's a, more of a lighter, lighter colour, lighter finish, lighter texture. That's what I'm on about. Please excuse me. But you get the idea of the colours that I like, you know. Um, and I like the the darker colours as well, the really vampy colours. Um, so, yeah. we got tissue and write the most of that off so I'm not rubbing it everywhere. Um, Favourite holiday movie? Um, well, I have quite a lot that I like. Um, I have them written down here. <laughs> um, I like Elf. I like The Grinch That Stole Christmas. Um, I like A Christmas Carol. Um, I prefer the older versions of A Christmas Carol. Um, but some of the newer ones are good as well, but I do prefer the old ones. And then I like Santa Claus, and again with Santa Claus, I do prefer the older versions. Um, and like, is it White Christmas? Um, or do they call it Holiday Inn? I can never remember. Oh, are those two separate films? But you know, you'll know the ones I mean. Um, so those are my favourite movies. Um, Question eight, favourite winter blush? Um, again, I have quite a lot. Um, this is a favourite of mine for winter, and it is, it's from MAC, and it's called Hang Loose. Um, I've had this one forever. And it's got this really, looks a really scary pink and a gold. Um, I mean, you can use them separately, you know, um, use a highlighter and a blush, and you can also rub them together, and you get this lovely, lovely colour. Really lovely sheen on on your. I mean, it is quite it is quite a in your face blush if you're not careful, but yeah, I mean, look at that. That is so so pretty. It has a lovely sheen on it. Um, that is a, a real favourite. Um, and also Rose Gold from um, Sleek. This is supposed to be the copy of NARS Orgasm, isn't it? Yeah, that's, um, that's another favourite of mine. Again, it is very... Um, if you're not careful, it, it's quite. It's got quite a, a sheen to it. So if you're not careful, you can overdo it. You have to be very, very, very light hand with both of these. Um, so yeah, that one. And then 
This has been a favourite, but the poor thing has absolutely fallen apart now. It is um, a physician's formula, happy booster, glow and mood boosting blush. And this one's in natural. Um, but yeah, it's um, literally just fallen apart, poor thing. I'll give you a swatch if I can. Um, you're not. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna get a, a true swatch of what it used to look like because obviously um, it's all sort of mushed in together now. But there was various colours in here, shades and and that that gave you like you could pick out certain colours if you wished, or you could just swirl it all together, which you're just getting a swirl at the moment because I just can't um, pick out colours. But yeah, there you go. That is such a favourite of mine. Really, really pretty. So, oh, I can't get that fast enough. I'll have a look at that. Um, question number nine. Favourite winter holiday treat? Um, it ha would have to be a big mug of twining Swiss chocolate drink. Um, Top with marshmallows and squirty cream. Um, that is our all-time winter treat. Great, it's lovely. Very, very fattening, but it's absolutely lovely. Um, my favourite winter nail polish. Well, again, like with the lipsticks and the blushes, if I'd chosen all of my favourites, I would have been here forever. So I've just chosen... A foo, which will give you the idea of what I actually like. Um, we we'll start with the red shades first. This one's a Nessie polish, and it is called Fishnet Stockings. So I like my reds. I like these burgundy reds, and I like the bright reds too. This one's a brighter, brighter red, and it has um, like a gold glitter running through that one. So that's OPI and it is called um, Ready Plus Octi... Ready Plus OD Plus. Strange, strange name. And then we have an Orly polish in a really dark burgundy colour and this one is called Grave Mistake. So yeah, it's a really burgundy colour. And then we have this sort of pinky, lilac-y sort of colour. It's hard to explain. And it is called Angora Cardi. But that's a real favourite, this one. I wear that one a lot when I have decent nails. This one is an uh, OPI. And it is a purpley lilac colour with a gold um, glitter running through it. And it is called Dutch Your Just Love OPI. And then this, this one's also an OPI. And it is called Quebec and Call. And it is like a greeny gold colour. It would actually have gone quite nice with my jumper. Um, but yeah, you, you, you can, I'm sure you can get the idea of you know, my favourite colours, like the burgundies, the, the dark pinks, the dark lilac colour, the shades of different shades of reds, you know, like the different shades of burgundies. Those are, are my favourite winter shades. So that is the end of, this, of my version of the tag. Um, I'd like to tag... Karen from Chucky Kaz. Um, I'd like to to tag um, Marty. Oh, I can't remember her name. Marty. I will put a name in the down box below. Um, and anybody else that would like to do the tag, that anybody that's watching would like to do the tag, please do it. Um, uh, I hope you've enjoyed my version and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.